All right, in this video, I'm going to show you a really quick little tip on um, embedding code snippets into um, Colab. Uh, I think this works with all Colab, not just Colab Pro. Um, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to Minimal um, for becoming a new member with, on my YouTube account. Um, I haven't really recorded a video yet to talk about my YouTube memberships, but I really appreciate folks who have started signing up, so thank you. Um, all right, let's get into this. Um, so basically, uh, if you're like me and you always forget that there's like tons of like little code snippets you have to remember and you're constantly Googling them, um, you might start to build together a little like snippets file like this. Um, what's really nice is there's actually a way to embed these in your collab. Um, so if you've ever used like the code snippets over here, um, this little guy, which I actually tend not to use because a lot of these I don't find really helpful for my work, but um, there's a ton of little like code snippets over here. Um, there's actually a way that um, inside of Colab to actually embed a file into this settings. Um, so whenever you open Colab, you can dig in and like grab some of these snippets. So really quickly, here's how to do that. So I want to embed this file. So I'm just going to like take the, the URL of this file. Um, and then I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm just going to do this in a different file just to show, show you how it works. You go to Tools and then Settings. Um, and then you'll see here, actually, I'm just going to X this out and remove it. Um, inside a site, like obviously there's themes. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do in here. Um, right here is a code custom snippet notebook URL. You're just going to paste that in, um, and you're going to hit save. And then when we go over to here, I'm actually just going to refresh the page just so you can sort of see um, that it works. Uh, come over here to snippets, and you will see right here at the top, custom collab snippets. So one little trick that I found, um, this gets loaded in in alphabetical order. Uh, so for me, since I don't use a lot of these other uh, snippets, I'm, I just added um, a little you know, underscore here. So that way, it, um, alphabetically, it always showed up at the top. Um, what's another little trick I think I saw this from a couple places, you want to add like um, a headline above each one of these. That way, what you can do is um, inside here, so like this headline says remove files. Um, oh, shit. Uh, remove that. Um, so you can come in here and you can type in remove files. Um, and Interesting, that doesn't really do that. It didn't do what I expected it to do. I thought it would actually show that, but it, it does know that it exists within um, your collapse snippets. So if for whatever reason you start to add in a bunch of different files here, uh, you've got access to them. Um, I wonder if it's got to do with the headline name. Um, anyway, we can play with this a little bit more, but I thought I'd just show this really quick tip because I think it's going to be helpful uh, for folks who start to use Colab more. Um, I'm te teaching a class this, starting this week on Colab. Um, those videos will be up in probably a couple months um, once the class is over, uh, so you'll have access to a lot of that material. You'll also start to see uh, some more videos that Lee and I are going to record and put up in Colab. Um, so just a really quick little tip here. Uh, it's definitely going to help me, so I hope it helps you too. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the YouTube channel um, or uh, join my Slack. Slack is probably the best way to place to ask me questions, um, so definitely recommend uh, doing that if you can. All right, thanks.